The times must be tough, but hang in there. Rain has to come soon. Yeah, it is critical. Uh, whether it's climate change or whether it's the worst drought on record, we're not sure, but it's really hitting, hitting people hard. I'm going to stay with the sheep farmer to try and help him out, do a bit of labouring, volunteer work. What a day. My first bit of farming work. What it's made me realise is how incredibly ignorant I am about farming. Well, why should I know any better? I don't know. Can we spike him after this front end? My job is to put this in between. Wow. What are those two? That's the... Oh, wow. I'm still processing it all, really. Just fucking smell it, man. Daddy's wife. That was a pretty good fall, though, wasn't it, last night? Oh, yeah, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> You have to start looking at your relationship with land more like a dialogue. You have to listen to it. A couple of weeks ago, we had record heat spell. Rah, rah, rah. What was the response? Dash off to Bunnings, buy a cheap ass, no star, reverse cycle air conditioner from China, plug it in and demand more electricity, which comes from a coal-fired power station, which is reinforcing the problem that gave you the heat wave in the first place. As energy gets more expensive, as the climate becomes more unstable, the sustainable choices become obvious. We need to use this dry period to start asking the questions to move us on to the next level which is a wider debate about our culture and how we operate both in greater society in our urban centres, um, how we produce our food, how we share our water, how we share our resources, how we manage our land and not just simply call it drought and just hope it'll rain and, and say, oh, it'll all be better once all this is over because there's a good chance that it won't be.